Welcome, Lieutenant Noon. Happy Monday. Uh, glad to see you and your smiling faces. Uh, as I was, I was saying before, um, the people should know. You can always tell people in case the you know, people who, if if they don't want <clears throat> to be um, for whatever reason, if they don't want to join us for services or whatever on Zoom, that they can always for Shabbat, they can always find us online, live on YouTube and on uh, Facebook. <clears throat> Uh, there's a, a, a writer, one of my favorite Jewish writers, uh, mostly of, um, of nonfiction work. Um, and his name is Rabbi uh, Lawrence Kushner. And he's not Rabbi Harold Kushner, who is everybody knows because he's the one who wrote the book, When Bad Things <clears throat> Happen to Good People, which interestingly, people often misquote the title. You ask nine, nine out of 10 people what the name of that book is, and they'll tell you the, the name of the book is Why Bad Things Happen to Good People. But it's, that's not the name of the book. The name of the book is When Bad Things Happen to Good People. But in any case, <clears throat> I'm talking about Rabbi Lawrence Krishner, who is also a rabbi, happens to have the last name of Krishner, not related. And um, he's a really wonderful writer, has written a tremendous amount to bring Jewish mystical, Jewish mysticism and spirituality from um, more Orthodox traditions to more uh, liberal traditions. He has a book called Honey from the Rock, which is one of many that he's written. And this is my favorite piece from his, from, from this book. There must have been a time when you entered a room and met someone. And after a while, you understood that unknown to either of you, there was a reason you had met. You had changed the other or she had changed you. By some word or deed or just by your presence, the errand had been completed. Then perhaps you were a little bewildered or humble and grateful. And it was each lifetime is the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. For some, there are more pieces. For others, the puzzle is more difficult to assemble. Some seem to be born with a nearly completed puzzle. And so it goes. Souls going this way and that, trying to assemble the myriad parts. But know this. No one has within themselves all the pieces to their puzzle. Like before the days when they used to seal jigsaw puzzles in cellophane, ensuring that all the pieces were there. Everyone carries with them at least one and probably many pieces to someone else's puzzle. Sometimes they know it, sometimes they don't. And when you present your piece, which is worthless to you, to another, whether you know it or not, whether they know it or not, you are a messenger from the Most High. In Jewish tradition, angels are called malachim, which comes from the same Hebrew root as the word messenger. I wonder what life is like if all of us spent parts of our day anyway with a purposeful openness to being 
a source for others in ways that we understood. And more often than not, more often than not, in ways that we aren't and wouldn't be aware of. I come back over and over to this idea of connectivity, especially over the past year. We shouldn't have needed an infection like COVID to remind us how vulnerably connected we all are to each other. But maybe we needed the reminder of how connected we are, how reliant we are, how interdependent we are in order to achieve success in our lives and in and, and others achieving success as well. We pray together each day because we are interconnected. Because what happens in Houston can affect what happens in Dallas, can affect what happens in New York City, can affect what happens in Buenos Aires, can affect what happens in Galveston, in Los Angeles, in Saskatchewan, in Leningrad, Hong Kong, and so forth. as we reconnect ourselves with that interconnectedness. I invite you to write in the names of people you are thinking of who are needing healing and wholeness so that we can pray together. Please heal this soul. Avraham Vesara. Yitzhak Verivka. Yaakov. Rachel Vleya. El Narefanala. Rafua Shlema. El Narefanala. Please heal these souls. Please heal these souls. Please heal these souls. May you find joy, may you find rest, may you find love, may you find peace. The day bring you more blessings than anything else. And may you seek to do the same for others. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks, bye bye. Good to be here. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. Thanks, Rabbi. Thank you. Rabbi. Have a nice day. Thanks, uh, Thank you so much. Hi, Jean. Hey, right, Sandra's over there. Really? Yeah. Sandra, come say hi to Ray. <laughs> Hey, Sandra. <laughs> Glad y'all are visiting. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, bye, bye y'all.
I'm going to say goodbye. Okay. Bye-bye. I love you. Love you too. Big hugs to Stan. Thank you.